Hey, Sahar Galt here, and I'm going to walk you through all of the settings on the Vertigo Sound VSM3. It's a harmonic distortion generator. Let's take a look. Okay, over here is your input trim, controlling how much of the overall signal is getting fed to VSM3. And here's the global bypass. This is the module that generates even harmonics, emulating a Class A triode tube. If you don't want this stage, bypass it here. Drive is how much of the signal goes into the distortion stage. Watch the LEDs for the amount of gain. Green's subtle, red's pronounced. The input filter determines what frequency range is passed to the harmonic generator. You don't have to send the whole of your signal to be distorted, and for subtle effects, it's best not to. Low is 10 hertz to 120, mid is 120 to 1.5K, high mid, 800 to 4K, high, 4K to 20K. Full sends everything but the lows, so 120 hertz to 20K, and track, is 10 hertz to 20k. Shape is like a high cut filter for just the distortion band. Leaving the frequency content of the original signal untouched, this helps you take out some of the brittleness or harshness of the high frequencies that can come from distortion. Level allows you to choose a new level for the processed band, and style, sort of like the knee on a compressor, shifts the character of the harmonic generator. At high gain levels though, this doesn't do much at all. And one of the game changers about the distortion modules in VSM3 is that they can be independently switchable to work on the whole stereo field or just the mid or the side of your signal. For mastering, this is really crucial. The kind of distortion you'd apply to the center of the mix is different from the kind you'd like to apply to the sides. Okay, moving on. This stage adds odd harmonics. And it's a brighter, grittier sounding module now, all of the controls are the same as the other side. But it's worth saying that since we have two stages, we have the ability to make the two distortion units work in parallel. And the blend between harmonic types can be controlled with the THD mixer. All the way to the left, you have the second harmonic generator. To the right, you have the third. And you can control the balance between the two in between. In serial mode though, the THD mixer is just bypassed. The second harmonic stage is passed on to the third harmonic stage. And in most cases, actually, you'll probably end up just using serial mode. The monitoring is very intelligent. You can hear just the mid or the side soloed here. Useful when you've applied distortion to these areas specifically, and you want to hear how particular elements are responding to that distortion. Distortion solo allows you to hear the distortion being generated only. While it's usually more informative to hear things in the mix, this is a great way to get started in crafting the exact distortion sound that you're after. And speaking of a whole mix, that's one of my favorite ways to use VSM3. And if you want to see how VSM3 sounds and hear me using it in the context of a full mix, check out this video here. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.